Hey guys, Chris here from Soapath Gaming. We are back with another Back for Blood video. We are going to tackle a sniper build today. So this is my sniper build. I had quite a lot of fun playing as Jim. I am going to recommend using him. This is just my preference really. You can use any character you want. The main reason I like using Jim though is he does have a specific trait. He has a stacking precision kill stack. This will go away though once you take damage. So with this build I am going to prioritise more sniper attributes to the deck. You will notice some other cards featured from previous decks in here as well. There are some that work quite well with this deck. So this is going to be really sniper based. We are going to focus on sniper deck building cards. I do hope you enjoy it. We are going to jump into the traits. Again it's just my preference to use Jim. It's really your choice who you want to use. So this is Jim's traits. Precision kills grants Jim 2.5 stacking damage until he takes damage. He has a 25% reload speed. So I'm not really going to have use for reload speed in this build. It's more the other traits. Uh, reload speed is quite handy in any other essence of the game. But with this deck build I'm not going to really need it. And I'll explain why as I get there. His last trait is a team effect is plus 10 to team weak spot damage. Now there is going to be some gold sniper rifles that I'm going to be hunting out for. One in particular is called Lockjaw. This is by far my favourite sniper rifle. Without actually putting gold mods onto your guns, this would be my favourite. So we'll just get into the deck. Number one, large caliber rounds. This will give you 7.5 bullet percent damage and 200% bullet penetration. Number two, silver bullets. This will give you 10% bullet damage and 15% effective bullet range. Number three, Patient Hunter. Every 0.75 seconds you aim down the sights, you increase your bullet damage by 10%, up to 3 stacks. Number 4, Admin Reload. So when you stow your weapons, it reloads. Number 5, 2 is 1 and 1 is none. So this will make it so you can hold 2 primary weapons. You can now equip a primary weapon in your secondary slot. This will have a negative 25% swap speed. Number 6, Shooting Gloves. 25% weapon swap speed, 15% recoil control, and 15% accuracy. With the negative red text in number 5, so the 25% weapon swap speed will be taken back to zero, as if nothing is affected. Number 7, Stock Pouch. Now this is unique to the sniper rifle. This will give me 30% sniper ammo capacity and 10% damage with sniper rifles. Number 8, Suppressing Fire. Damaging ridden with LMGs and snipers has a 40% chance to slow the ridden near the target by 50% for 5 seconds. Number 9, Power Swap. So this is going to work really well with number 5 and number 4. When you change your weapon within 1 second of reaching low ammo, grants 20% bullet and melee damage for 5 seconds. Now when you're shooting away and you see the reloading text, quickly swap your weapon. This is going to ensure the buff is active. When you obviously switch your weapon as well, don't worry because admin reload, once you stow your weapon, it's going to be reloaded. So just keep shooting away. When you see the reload text, swap again, keep shooting, repeat the process. The buff will always be active if you can keep it going. Number 10, Ridden Slayer. And this is going to give me 20% weak spot damage. So in this sniper build, it is very important to have weak spot damage alongside the bullet penetration from large caliber rounds. It's a bit of a win-win. It kind of works well with each other. One doesn't really work without the other, so you do need both. So this is number 11. This is glass cannon. This is 25% damage. This does have negative 30% health. With the amount of damage that you're outputting, you are going to be a little bit more squishy. However, it is a bit of a sacrifice to take. Just got to have a bit of your teammates to help you out with this one. Number 12, line them up. This is 10% effective bullet range, 15% recoil control, 25% bullet penetration, and 25% aim speed. It's going to be really handy to shoot through targets to get multiple targets killed at once. There is one downfall to this bullet penetration though, guys. You will set off alarms. You will set off car alarms, door alarms, you're going to set off some birds and you're not actually going to notice this until you've done it. So do be careful. You're not going to have the hindsight, obviously, before you pull the trigger. In the heat of the moment as well, you're probably just going to be panicking and just shooting anyway. It's just more a heads up to say I told you so. Number 13, Overwatch. 
So any kill from greater than 15 meters grants 5 temporary health to teammates within 15 meters of the target. So even though it's just temporary health, if there is ridden in the distance that are not really a threat, still shoot them. Any temporary health to give to your teammates is better than none. If you're in a bit of a sticky situation, this is a good way to get yourself some health before the heat of a moment. And just to get ready for the next wave. Number 14, Broadside. Precision kills have a 20% chance to cause Ridden to explode, dealing 15 damage to have Ridden within 4 meters. Number 15, this is the last card, Confident Killer. Now I really do love this card, I do believe it has featured in all of my builds. This is guaranteed, with the amount of mutations that appear in one level, you're going to get this pretty quickly. So what is Confident Killer? When your your team kills a mutation you gain 1% damage up to 15% until the end of the level. So that concludes the Sniper Rifle deck. I do hope you enjoy it. If you use it, let me know. If there's any card you would swap out, also let me know. I will be doing a damage breakdown, so do get ready to pause the video for a tip section. And as always, I will be bringing more builds to the table. I've got a few more in mind. So do bear with me, they do take a bit of time to put together. I still want to get together a medic build, a shotgun build, a damage bleed build. There's still quite a lot that I want to do, even an accessory build. But if there is anything you did like guys, please consider subscribing. It will help me out. Until then, I will see you in the next.